And Neon is down here as a mere peon, like... Ooh, did we just find his new nickname, Peon? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer and Jer watching Bolly Star today. We're just getting into Jamari. He finally got banned. Who's he referring to? Well, the infamous Neon. You feel me? <sighs> now, if you don't know him, uh, just watch the video and see who he is. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know. He's not that widely known, but if you know, you know. I'm going to just say that. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, he finally got banned. What was he on? Kick or something? Is he, up on, like, is he still up on Twitch? I have no idea, but let's find out. Let's get it. A little while since we last talked about IRL streamer Neon. Last time we caught up with him, he was losing it all from his deal with Kick to his OF girlfriend and really losing relevance by the ball from his deal with Kick to his OF girlfriend. Hmm. She's actually not that bad looking. What's her name? Friend, and really losing relevance by the day. I guess the bot farms over in India were no longer in service. Less and less of his clips have been going viral, and in general it seems like the falloff has begun. For his ex-girlfriend Sam, you could really say the same. She's been running around acting like a thought. It's like these two were each a cancerous virus that could only spread when their powers combined. I mean, let's be real, you can only go on making this type of scripted content for so long before the kids into the next grade and move on to Paw Patrol. And recently, it looks like Neon might really be in for a rude yeah. awakening. As yesterday, he was banned from the Kick platform. And no, guys, the title of this video is not clickbait. I'm here on Google, and when you try to go to Neon's Kick page, boom, this is what you get right now. Oops, something went wrong, a 404 error. And you guys already know that Kick is extremely lenient. I mean, there's people literally doing it all on what the stream, you, you know what I'm saying? So to get, get banned from there, kick. you know you have to do some pretty heinous stuff. Like, you really gotta be sick in the head. And so this is apparently the clip that got Neon banned. I gotta blur half the screen because, you know, I don't show kids on my channel, but Neon's on some sort of Omega call with this kid. And they pretty much just start spazzing out on each other when he makes some disgusting threats towards him. I try to be nice to you, bro. What the f up? I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the? That fest. I'll smack her in her face too, bitch. Now, obviously, the kid should not be talking that way, but like I already told y'all, he doesn't appear to shit. be older than like ten. And so obviously it's going to be the responsibility of the adult elementary to school. handle this type of situation Shit. maturely, and Neon does the opposite. And oh god, I'm about to dox your entire family. What's your name? I'm not doing this. What's your name? Up, suck my bro, you a What's your name? All I Was that the stream or? I'm about to dox your entire family. What's your name? I'm not doing this. What's your name? Up, suck my bro, you a What's your name? All I need is your first name. I don't care. I'm not an at warrior. What's your name? What's your first name? What's your first name? Give me your first name. Yeah, I'll get Miami. Please, please, please. So yes, this man really threatened to dox and then physically violate some kid on a computer. Obviously, this isn't the smartest move, but am I surprised by his actions? Absolutely not. For those of you that don't know, Neon first rose to fame as a kid himself after he was out here faking his death online. And then he would disappear for a while, but he would research on the internet a couple years later. And he was pretty much doing what this kid did to him right here. He would enter random Zoom calls and just start trolling people, start shitting all over them, or at least attempting to. And so in a lot of ways, it's ironic that this behavior seems to be what got him banned. I mean, you can't press a little kid like this, dude. And I guess the Neon was just feeling himself last night. Pause. Apparently he even exposed Jack Doherty for signing girls to OF contracts when they're apparently underage and under the influence, he says. Come on. Hey, Jack. Fuck you, bro. I was actually speaking highly of you for the first time. You want to come here and talk? It's all good, bro. I, I just don't care, bro. The crazy thing is, Jack, you would not say that to my face, bro. You're a joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17-year-old girls, 
the night before their birthday, you got you buy a ten thousand dollar yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract fifty percent of their life every single time. You. Now that is a very serious allegation to levy against somebody. But with multiple people saying this and Jack Doherty looking like he has that Roblox head, I don't know if I find it too hard to believe. I mean, any girl that's willing to sign their life over to this guy has to be at least a little bit out of their mind. And with these influencers, I wonder if they're just like sitting back during these hangouts, gathering dirt on each other, and then waiting for the most advantageous moment to reveal it to the public. Like for Neon, it's like, do you really care that he's doing this to these girls allegedly? Or are you just talking shit to him now because he's trying to trash you? I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't make him a much better person for trying to expose this when it's convenient for him. Now just some other Neon updates here because it has not been going well for our Indian Don't throw friends. stones when you live in the glass house. Apparently he made house. a song for the ex-girlfriend after their breakup. <laughs> And let me just tell you, my guy, do not quit your day job. You are no nov. Like, no one wants to hear you, even with auto-tune. For the ex-girlfriend, she's still trying to ride their wave. I mean, obviously even less people care about her. She's out here on her YouTube channel posting compilations of their cutest moments and bullshit like that. Like, just give it up, girl. It's over. I mean, Neon's been having a wild ride, guys. Let's here get he back is, with him. away. In handcuffs after they heard For that the clout, song, obviously. they had to arrest him, I guess. Not our Indian compadre, man. Damn. No, the real reason that they uh, had him handcuffed there was that, I guess, they rented some sort of car, and it was actually a hot or a stolen vehicle. But he wouldn't go to jail or anything like that. Now, another thing that's been new with Neon is that he, like many other influencers, tried the whole boxing thing, but it really only lasted about a week. <laughs> One, two, three. I should. Give me that seven. Load it first. Load. Little, little quick. Keep your fist tight. That's all you're doing. You're bending your Keep it tight. Laugh. And just place it. Nice. Snatch it up. There you go. Pull it back. There you go. Seven, three. There you go. Nah, but hey, man. Shout out to anyone trying to better themselves. He actually doesn't look too horrendous on the pads. Like, I think there's a small possibility he could beat up that kid he was beefing with on the phone call. And of course, during this training, he ended up calling out Aiden Ross for a fight. I As remember some of you may this. remember, the two have had some beef for the last couple of months because really? Aiden wasn't with the ex-girlfriend, and I guess Neon was talking a lot of shit. So they were supposed to fight. Here's how it went the last time they boxed. I mean, it was probably the most <laughs> pathetic <laughs> exhibition I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> this was the sorriest form I've ever seen, bro. Like, what? Right, 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 Let's put this shit on me and lock shit in and said they're gonna kill me in the ring. So kill me in the ring. Kill me in the ring, bro. Kill me in the ring. Hurt me, bro. You wanna hurt me? Hurt me. Hurt me, bro. Don't just say that on stream and then see out, bro, like a bitch. Hurt me then, bro. Do it. And at this point, Aiden Ross really just hates this guy. I mean, here he talks about how some of his other friends could not get a deal on kick because people like Neon are bodying all their viewers. But what I will say is this. People that I would say inflate to get better deals on kick, they ruined it for my boys. Because yeah. I was trying to get uh, my, my boys Cheezer. For me too. Cheezer and Combi, and you're an example, d deals. And because there's a, a streamer that was you body heavy. Who's yeah. walking around Universal Studios, yes. <laughs> I couldn't get them a deal. Yeah. And, he and that's how it was confirmed that it was Neon because he was doing streams at Universal acting like a clown. Knew that's that I wanted up. to get them a deal. That's and I couldn't up. get them a deal. That's fucked Because he's body too much. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. And to me, the thing is, like, if the owner of Kick is on to somebody viewbotting, why doesn't he just boot him off the platform, like, permanently? Like, I feel like if on YouTube someone was trying to viewbot or subbot or likebot, they would put into that shit really fast. Now, I remember that ish was said. You know what I'm saying? It was said. And I believe it. But now it's confirmed, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Coming from 
But then again, Aiden could just be talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just going along with what people are saying. But again, personally, I believe Neon. I mean, I mean, look at him. Look at, like, where is he? I mean, look at him. He looks like the type of person that can, you know, hack IP addresses or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he can create bots. Sub bot or like bot. They would put into that shit really fast. Because it does really compromise the legitimacy of your website. Like, advertisers are paying to show advertisements to actual people. They don't want them being showed to bots. And here's where the situation really escalates. This is actually Aiden's response to Neon talking shit about him backing out of the boxing match. Where he basically says, I made you and I can take you out whenever I want. He said, you call me out and push it out after claiming you don't want to be my ass because you don't want to give attention. A week later, you mention me on stream. If you're too pussy, you fight me right now. Neon, you gotta humble yourself, bro. I made your entire career. You're where you are because of me. And Neon, I know about your deal dropping, bro. Humble yourself, bro. I'm not giving you that Idols event. Idols turned rivals. Found it. Thank you. W Citrus. This is a new form of Idols event, turned bro. rivals. I'm not giving you that event to save that kick. Yo, I'm not giving you it, bro. I'm not, that's all I'm saying, bro. I don't know if Aiden humble yourself, really was bro. Neon's humble Idol. Yourself. You're not me. Yeah, I have a feeling that Aiden does not like the way that Neon was talking when Neon he was, talking spicy. you know, at the view body top. Because during that time, Neon was saying, oh, I'm more relevant than Aiden. I'm bigger on this platform than him. And he was basically talking big shit. And he's hurt now that all of his friends have basically left his side. He lost the cloud chasing girlfriend. And it seems like his life is crumbling around him. Here was his response to Aiden. Yeah, um, there's nothing to worry about. I do want to say that on my end chat. Um, me, me and Eddie are fucking solid, bro. Eddie loves me. I love him. He realizes, like, I realize how much he's done for me. He realizes that, like, bro, we've really been working together. It's a beneficial relationship. Just know, chat, someone who, someone who, lo who lost their deal and lost their money wasn't about, wasn't about to spend this much money. Isn't about to spend. So. Now, to me, Neon is treading very dangerous waters here because, obviously, like, when it comes to the hierarchy around Kick, Aiden Ross is, like, way up here above everyone else. And Neon is down here as a mere peon. Like, ooh, did we just find his new nickname, Peon? <laughs> Seriously, though, if Aiden wants Neon gone tomorrow, I likely think that he could do it. Because Aiden is Bugger. obviously a much bigger part of Kick's master remember, plan. Man, I ain't heard Peon since Young Thug said it on that one song, bro. I <sighs> think he has ownership in the platform. And so obviously they have vested interest in continuing their partnership with him. And these are the types of people that Neon is hanging Don't out with. Don't let right Aiden stumble across this video, my guy. Nah, he will run till the horse falls off with him. Now, who are doing this type of shit to him? Do you still stock Aiden Ross? Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 <laughs> What the f is this, bro? This is not how it's supposed to be! Huh? Taping someone to a garage is insane. I think he staged that. Well, not staged, but I think he starred that for himself as a form of content, but I don't know. Maybe the guys took it a little bit too far. I mean, looking at the way he's handling all this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come oh, on, guys, make it look very convincing, sound very convincing or something. I remember back in the day, I went to this pool party, and one of my friends, who was never really getting too many girls, I guess he got too excited off the hype, and he let them duct tape him to a tree. The secondhand embarrassment I felt that day was just hilarious. It's a good thing that back then, you know, social media was not so prevalent, so there might still be some clips of him out there floating around. And someone else he lost Boy, recently the videos was we actually that made. security guard who was... The videos we would have made, like, freaking... Five years before YouTube was made. If YouTube was started five years before it was made, <laughs> I mean, it would make more videos up on YouTube. But you know, YouTube already has a numerous amount of videos. Um, but I guess put it in this phrase, it will still be a thousand and five hundred. You know what I'm saying? Thousand meaning infinite. You know what I'm saying? There's an infinite number of videos. Plus 500 more if it was made five years ago. Maybe 20,000, 20K. He's always going around so overimposing his will. K. And really and overstepping his boundaries. Not acting very professional at all. I for sure would have made videos Let's and put them up on YouTube. Oh. No, I'm saying I'm a murder your mode. Keep it up. 
God oh. damn. Murder? But look at me, they're going to... Hold on, 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 what's going on? There might on? still be some clips of him out there floating around. And someone else he lost recently was actually that security guard who was Leon, floating around. And someone Leon's else... security pressed the fuck out Who? He lost recently was actually that security guard who was always going around overimposing his will and really overstepping his boundaries, not acting very professional at all. You gonna keep letting people talk shit? I air this bitch out right now, we'll see how you feel. Let's see your life go crazy over that. Oh. No, I'm saying I'm a murder your mother. Yes, keep it up. God keep damn. Up. Murder? But look at me, they're gonna look at Not me. murder. Bro, I'm just saying like I'm just saying like I'm right here. This is not how a security guard is supposed to act, man. Just be chill in the background. Why are you challenging people? Let's play the game. Bro, I'm you must say some foul yeah. to the security yeah, this guard. This old man is pretty scary. I mean, I gotta think at his old age, he probably has a kid seeing this shit. Even Ryan Garcia stepped shit, in to say something about security. I gotta just do it, bro. Yo. Can I talk to you real quick, just me and you? Yeah. Bro, you look like a bitch, bro. Ooh. Actually? <laughs> Death, but seeking validation from 50 other men is the gayest shit I've ever seen. That's like, facts. The man who pays the bills and... Employs everybody in that bitch wants to smoke a joint. Smoke a joint. Look at the camera and enjoy yourself. Who gives a fuck, bro? That ass. Oh god. Uh, then go protect the front. Yo, in the major, he's watching. He's watching. So Neon's legitimately scared of this security guard. Ryan's basically saying the security shouldn't have anything to do with what's going on on screen. Like I'm gonna do whatever I want back here. You go do your job. I mean, this security guard, Leon, okay, it's funny, he was Leon and Neon. Yeah, this fucker was constantly losing his cool. JCV, mute the microphones. Mute the fucking microphones or I will break your camera. I'm not <laughs> man. Mute the fucking That is just insane. Uh, serious. I'm not just asking you, bro. This guy is, like, obviously constantly trying to use his physical stature to intimidate people. And one day he's going to find the wrong one. Like, I would love to see this guy challenge someone who's actually his size. I mean, he was out here just straight up being disrespectful, slapping cigarettes out of homeless men's hands. I mean, this guy was really feeling like he was the star. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so eventually, Neon had to announce that the security guard got fired. He really did have my best interests at heart, bro, and I really, really appreciate it. And I know one day everything's going to work out, but right now we're just, we're, 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 we're um, you know. And sadly, he's not having much better luck with the ladies, as the only women who seem to really want to be around him are just more clout-chasing internet girls. And should we really be surprised? I mean, we saw what he did for that other chick's career, and so they're all looking at him like they're a bunch of piranhas, and he's just really like an injured little goldfish trying to enter the sea. I'm sorry you had to be reminded. I'm sorry you had to be reminded. Reminded of what? I'm sorry you had to be reminded. Oh. Yeah. Are you at least asking? Yeah. No, no, no. Nah, I can't even go any farther, bro. These chicks would do anything for clout these days. But apparently he's trying to come through with the rebrand, okay? He says, mm. I love y'all. No more lies. And I guess he could feel the clout leaving his veins. The black Spider-Man suit was coming off. No, and so no. now he's saying he's back with the old Wait, I love okay, you guys. They made a business decision, I suppose. You guys want to know if I'm still with Sam? And the answer to that is, um, the answer to that is, um, uh, yes, I am. You got your answer. You got what you wanted to hear. Um, I'm with her. So I'm sure they might return to torment our screens one day very soon. I mean, the thing is, guys... He could have had a long-standing relationship with Aiden Ross. I mean, I know a lot of you do not like Aiden, but obviously he knows how to garner a big audience, and it was right up Neon's wheelhouse. He could have taken him right to the top, and like we discussed earlier, he's stuck being peon, you know, neon peon. So it looks like it's going to be rough for our guy, you know, from here on out. <laughs> I would say that he has likely hit his peak when it comes to his relevance online. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. <laughs> I think that his banning will last longer than like 24 hours. Oh I mean, my god, some pretty nasty dude. Shit, but it is kick. Either way, y'all know it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And some of the D-Gen streamers out, he need to be covered. So I'm out. 
<laughs> nah, Jamari a fool for that one. All right, you guys. So that was Jamari. Uh, Neon finally got banned. I was just just forgot his name because there's nothing to say about him, bro. It's like it's like I said. Uh, freaking within the video, he looks like a dude that makes bots. You know what I'm saying? Like he is the indie dude that does IT at your freaking you know, local office for any office job, bro. Like, of course this nigga goes home and makes bots, like, you know, for his own side business, his own side hustle, bro. He's an IT dude in your usual office job that has put his smarts of, like, computers and shit. What if I just use my smarts and... <laughs> Well, if I just use my smarts and, you know, applied it to this, you know what I'm saying? My smarts of knowing uh, computer and software knowledge, hardware knowledge, you know what I'm saying? All the coding type-ish. And that's the nigga that did that shit, bro. Oh, you say you made bots? I believe it. You know, as far as his behavior. No, nah, nah, he could have propelled up with uh, Aiden, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that type of boisterousness, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, he just rambling. Yapping, you want to talk about people who yap? This nigga yapping. This nigga is saying a whole bunch of nothing. Nothing. Because he can't back shit up. This nigga can't back shit up. He needs a security guard. Him and that other dude that got a security guard, you know what I'm saying? Whenever they go around and, you know, uh, be menace in the streets and shit. Menaces in the streets. I'm like, is it really that funny for people to watch a dude who can't back shit up just yap like that? It, I mean, I guess in a way it's like watching a train wreck. But it's like, I guess you gotta pick and choose your train wrecks, dude. Pick and choose your battles. So that's all it really boils down to. Um, but yeah, he just rambles and, you know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, it just goes off the rails, you know what I'm saying? But I digress, and now I'm done with this, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below. You already know it's Boomer and Jer watching Bali Star. Make sure to leave a like to support the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new so that we join up with the all star gang up in this thing. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one for 100. Ooh! Yeah, yeah.